Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a total New Year's Eve tutorial from my makeup to my outfit. I'm going to give you an idea of what I'm going to wear on New Year's Eve going out if we do go out. We have plans, sort of, to go out to this restaurant that we like that's doing a New Year's Eve party that has like jazz and all this cool stuff for New Year's Eve, but I'm not sure if that's going to work out because usually <laughs> when we have the day off the next day for New Year's Day, um, we usually just end up vegging out around the house, so we'll see how it goes. But nevertheless, this is an idea, and this is what I'm going to wear if we go. This makeup idea, although super dramatic, is super easy, and I wanted to do that because I think a lot of people are intimidated when it comes to really more like heavier eye makeup looks. They think it's harder, and that's not the case. This is so simple. If you didn't want to do the gold, you could do the black, and you could substitute the gold for whatever color that you like. And you'll kind of see how I do that in the video and see how you can make some substitutions. I'm using the Naked 2 palette, and I'm using my eyeliner from my Defining Eyes palette, which I was going to use for the whole thing, but I thought this would be good to kind of keep up with the tradition of using Naked tutorials for New Year's Eve, which I believe I've done. At least last year, I believe I did. Um, it would be funny if I really didn't, but I think I did. <laughs> um, and plus, you guys wanted another look with the Naked 2, so... So there it is. Makeup tutorial first, and then make sure to see the outfit at the end of the video for a little bit of inspiration of how I would put together an outfit for New Year's Eve. So I hope that you guys enjoy it, and if you want to see exactly how I would put together a complete New Year's Eve look, oh, well, I was going to say keep watching, but i got to tell you, my hair, um, I've done tutorials, a lot of tutorials in the past on curling, so I will link one of those below so that you can get the same curls. Um, yeah, because it's the only thing that I don't show in the video. So, hope that you guys enjoy it. As always, go on over to my blog if you want to get a list of all of the products mentioned and everything. And like I said, keep watching for the makeup tutorial and for the outfit idea. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is put down a really dark base. And for that, I'm using the gel liner from my Defining Eyes palette for Sigma Beauty in Blackout. Which I think is like the darkest, best gel liner of all time. And I can say that because I created it. So I made it exactly like I wanted it. It's perfect for liner, but it works actually really well as a black base, and it blends well. You have just a few seconds to really work with fluid or gel liner um, if you're going to use that. Uh, so, yeah. You want to work pretty quickly. I'm using an E60 brush to put this down. You want to go up to the crease so it doesn't look like you've got this weird black line that stops on your lid. And then I take a smoother brush like this P82 by Sigma. You work it back and forth, kind of like a windshield wiper, until everything is smoothed out. Then you're going to take a really, really black eyeshadow, and I could have used the one in my Defining Eyes palette, because I made that one super bright as well, or super dark as well, but since I'm using a gold, too, and I kind of have, I think last year I did my New Year's Eve look with the Naked palette, I'm using the Naked 2 palette to kind of keep with tradition, especially since you guys have been requesting a video with this. I'm using this shade right here at the end, and it's super, super black. I'm using it with this E35 or E55 brush by Sigma to really pack on the color. And I'm going to start with this outer half of the lid and just dab it in, covering that whole area that we blacked out with the liner. Then take a blending brush. I'm using my E40, and I'm just going to go back and forth around the color and the next step that we're going to do is kind of warm up the brow bone. Whenever you do super, super black shades like this, it can tend to look a bit goth if you have very pale skin. Like mine, I have very, very it looks very white up there. So you want to take a color that's a little more of like a warm brown. And for this one, I'm just going to use my bronzer that I'm going to use, my Laguna by NARS. Um, or if you have like a warmer, medium brown eyeshadow, you can do that as well. Take that on that fluffy brush. And I don't overlap a lot of the black, but I just go around that blended area and then blend it up on my brow bone. And it really warms it up and it actually makes a big difference. Next, I'm going to take another shade from this palette. I'm taking the Busted right next to it, kind of that dark brown. I'm taking a more precise brush, this E35, or more precise crease brush. And right there on the edge where we blended and where we just applied that color, I'm just going to kind of work that a little bit to kind of extend that edge a little. I'm going about halfway. I'm going to take the lightest color in the palette, this Foxy, or you can use Booty Call. This one has a bit of a frost to it, but I'm just using the one that doesn't have frost and just kind of dab that right underneath your brow. I'm using a really big brush. This is an E50. You can use any brush you want for that. This one just works pretty good for that. 
Alright, now for the goals. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline. I'm using a liquid product for the main part of the liner, um, which is kind of different. I've never used any of these before. Well, on video, I've been using this for a while and I really like it. And it's so surprising. It's by Lush. And it's one of their new eyeliners. And I absolutely love this color. It's called Fantasy. It's super, super gold. I'm actually really surprised by how much I like their, you know, the few products that I have of theirs that is makeup. Um... But I don't, I don't ever use liquid on my waterline. I'll use a gel or a cream liner, but I never use liquid. Um, so I'm using this color by Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 pencil in El Dorado. Just transfers really well on your waterline. That applies really nice. And then I'm going to start with this color, the Fantasy. So I give it a bit of a shake as an applicator, much like any other liquid. Let's start on this inner corner and kind of work it down and across, making the line a little thick. You don't have to be super precise with it since it's gold, and it just kind of leaves a really pretty iridescence. Over it, I always like to apply a little bit of a matching eyeshadow. I'm using the Half Baked, which is actually more gold. It transfers more gold than it looks in the packaging, and it pretty much matches this exactly because you don't want to cover up the prettiness. We're just kind of setting it. So apply your mascara, definitely apply a lot to this upper because you don't want your lashes to get lost in all the black. You can even apply false lashes if you want, I think that would be really nice. And as for the lower lashes, you really want the focus to be on that pretty gold, so you really could just leave it as is. I applied some mascara anyways because sometimes if you apply the black, it kind of makes the color behind it pop. So that's it for the eyes. Keep watching and I'm going to show you what I used on the rest of my face and for my lips. Okay, so for my cheeks, like I said, when you do, and I, I say this every time that I do really dark eye makeup, you want to kind of balance out your skin and make sure that you don't look pale and, you know, as really black eyeshadows can do. So make sure to apply a bronzer if you've got paler skin. And I just kind of apply it kind of to the hollows of my cheeks and then work it up to my actual cheeks. So it kind of contours and bronzes in one. For blush, I'm using a little bit of a brighter color, this magic shade, the Tarte Amazonian Clay, the 20, or not 24 hour, 12 hour blush. I use that with an angled brush. I like to use this lipstick to get when I want some color, but I don't want to look overboard. It's the Sheen Supreme in Supreme Style. It gives you a little bit of a nice pink color, gives your lips some shine but doesn't look nude or paled out. That's it for the makeup. I'm going to show you my outfit now. Alright, so this is kind of a versatile outfit because I have a jacket too that I'm going to show you. Um, I still like to very much dress for the season, even though I know it's kind of trendy to wear like, you know, you could definitely wear like a cocktail dress or do anything like that, but throw in some tights with it or some leggings or, um, not leggings, um, some pantyhose and a darker color, tights. Um, but that's that's what I did, and I really like kind of the opaque tight look. Makes your legs look really slim and black. Um, I have my shoes from Aldo. I'll get a closer shot. These, I'm not sure if they have any more. Um, I got them about a year ago. I know the whole like sequin skirt thing is very popular, and it's a very trendy thing. Um, but if you do it to kind of balance it out and to keep it looking nice still, just kind of wear like a blousy top, or not even a blousy top, but just a plain top, a top that doesn't have a lot of like trendy stuff going on, so the skirt can be the focus and it kind of like balances out the look. So I have this tee from Splendid that is just very kind of blousy, and I like it. I have my Club Monaco necklace, which is kind of like the same like deco feel as the skirt. This skirt is from Tar- or not Target. I don't want to say Target. It's from Express. I wish they had this skirt linked as a Target. And it kind of complements the eye makeup and the necklace really, really well. And like I said before, who were we even kidding? It's like freezing um, this time of year. And I live in the South, so it's not even like by a long shot as cold as it is some other places. So we're like wearing a cocktail dress is cute and all. I just... I like to be comfortable. I like to feel like appropriate for the season. That's what makes me feel comfortable. And um, so yeah, this would totally be great indoors, whatever, but I do have a nice jacket I'm gonna show you an option of as well. 
All right, so this is the option that I would wear with this dress for jackets. Um, it, why is my flash raised? That's weird. Okay. Um, it's a jacket by Creasa, and it looks really nice. It almost looks kind of leathery because it has like a almost like a sheen to the fabric, but it is so comfortable. You can wear it. It looks tight, but you can wear it over long sleeve tops very comfortably. It's just really nice. I got mine from Singer 22. Um, although I'm sure you can get them in several different places, but it's just so easy and nice. I've been throwing this on over everything. But like I said, my favorite way to wear a sequin skirt or a really patterned skirt, in this case I'm just going to go with the whole sequin skirt thing, is um, with a plain top that's maybe a little blousy tucked in and with a jacket. Usually I've been wearing like blazers and stuff if I wear mine, but this is a great option too and it's a little more fun because of the... Sheen. I like the way it's cut in the back. It's kind of like, it's really nice. So this is my New Year's Eve outfit idea. If we go out, this is definitely what I will be wearing. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and the makeup and everything. And if you want to see a list of all the products, pictures of the outfit, go to the blog. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. See you later.